yeah. So last night we actually practiced and uh, we had the Cowboys game on the big screen. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's been the coolest two days, you know, here at JP2. Uh, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't ask for nothing else. One night after watching the Cowboys play, Coach Blackwell and his John Paul II basketball team picked up a cool win in big board sports. It was a big night last night at John Paul II High School in Shirts where both varsity basketball teams played their first ever home games in their brand new gym. The Guardians are true road warriors, but now they can finally say home sweet home. Number two, Jeffrey Maldonado led the Guardians with 21 points. Chase Clinton scored 17. Josh McGuire and Arath Velasquez both ended up with double digits as well. And check out this steal and slam dunk from Maldonado. Very nice. That's how you break in a new gym, right? The JP2 Guardians beat CC and Carnet Word by the final final of 76 to 30. It's been it's been quite a journey. It's been uh, it's been one for for the record books. Uh, you know, this is history in the making tonight. I mean, a lot of people have uh, have come before us and, uh, you know, including a couple of coaches, um, a heap of players, you know, tons of parents. And it means a lot to the community. Uh, you know, we've we've elevated and ascended every year. And, uh, you know, it's just been a blessing to see these to see this program grow to where it's grown and see the, the reputation grow, the notoriety we got over the last couple of years. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a dream come true to be in this building right now, representing this community and seeing these boys play the way they did tonight. I was promised one my freshman year and ever since then it's been on my mind constantly, constantly, constantly. It's been amazing to be in this environment with this family we have. You know, Coach Black was in seventh grade. He's family to me. It's been amazing. Like a dream come true, you know? Always, always thought about having a home game, especially this nice gym we had. Amazing, amazing. The JP2 girls also played CC Incarnate Word. The Guardians led by as many as 10 points, but the Angels rallied in the second half to spoil the party, 48 to 41. More boys basketball, Wagner hosts and Bernie champion in district. Less than seven seconds to go, tied at 49. Wagner inbounding the ball after champion was called for a five second violation. Now the ball goes back to the inbounding passer, Devontae Durst, and he drains the game winning three ball with one second left, two pump fakes, and he's money. Wagner wins this 26-5A contest, 52-49, improving to five and one in district. That young man was certainly clutch. In girls hoops, big district 29-6A battle at Northside Sports Gym. Brennan taking on Harlan last night. Overtime action, Harlan's Kasten Young drives and makes a floater off the glass, tying this to 71. I mean, that was clutch as well. Same score, Bella Flemings drives to the basket for the go-ahead lane with 35 seconds to go. That holds up as the game winner. Flemings finished with a game-high 27 points. The Bears survive 73-71 in overtime, improving to 11-0 in district, 21-3 overall, while Brennan is now 21-4 overall and eight and two in district play guys that's a lot of great action there on the court last night thanks larry and we're going to head over to SA Live, where the hump day party's underway oh yeah. yes and you know what time it is it's burger listen. time yes love that sound antonio <laughs> tapa is here from bar louis and we are making what's this burger called uh, yes sir so this is going to be the my jam burger that's my jam burger and it's got a lot of interesting toppings. So we're going to have the garlic aioli as the base. You're going to have the garlic herb cheese spread. We got some fresh, beautiful arugula, mm. our in-house seasoned blend. We got some pickles to top it. Can't have a burger without pickles. And then my favorite, just I made this today, is going to be our old-fashioned bourbon jam. It's going to have amaretta great cherries. toppings. Oh, they got yeah. a great deal as well. But what shouldn't go on a burger? Uh, let us know at SA Live Taste Out on Facebook and Twitter. And you may see your answer in the show in a few minutes. You would have to see where I you? sure did, because let the good times roll. Mardi Gras is coming up, and we're going to tell you where you can celebrate and enjoy incredible French cuisine. Yes, and how about celebrating the Renaissance Fair? And Jen is going to show us all about falconry. Yes, and you know, you kind of see all those life hacks or, you know, makeup hacks mm -hmm. on TikTok, right? So we are going to test a few of them out today and see if they really work. That and a whole lot more, and I got lunch cooking on SA Live. All right, temperatures are warming up quickly today. We're already in the mid 70s. Uh, we'll be in the upper 70s for a high. Gusty winds this afternoon. Pretty chilly by tomorrow morning. 71 on your Thursday, increasing clouds Friday. We've got another chance of rain Saturday, at least during the first half of the day. It'll be cooler over the weekend too. 62 the forecast high right now for Saturday. All right, thank you so much, Justin. I know what David Sears is having for lunch today, so they. They need to save him some over at Market Square. Uh, my only question is, the burger ready yet, Mike? Let's find out. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio.
Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Yeah, it's almost ready, David. Oh, you did it! You're so good at that! Yes, hello, and happy Wednesday. Yeah, throw the bacon on oh, there, the bacon too. On there. Yes, indeed. Oh, oh, all right. That is Chef Mike Osterhage right there. <laughs> and I'm Fiona Corstiza. All right, so we've got some great toppings going on this burger. We're going to tell, tell you all about those in a second, but... What wouldn't you put on a burger? Okay. Um, all right. I, I, I'm going to think something like maybe a different kind of meat like fish. Because you know I don't like fish. What? And I'm, I'm bouncing off somebody else's answer right now because okay. that is true. Mm-hmm. I would almost say, and this kind of harkens to a Hawaiian pizza, pineapple. I don't know. Really? I don't I know. Like I like that. pineapple. Uh-huh. I don't like it in pizza necessarily. And oh. I don't know if I'd put it on a burger. Okay. Well, that is polarizing the pineapple on pizza I kind of question. So, yeah, you either like that and you would like it on a burger, or you don't. And you want. Good like thing he's burger. not serving pineapple on the it's burger very today. Very true. So, anyway. All right, so let us know at <laughs> SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. Go ahead, grind your gears my, with what my, should my, never go on a burger. My bacon's sliding off here. So. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, have you checked the time? Because if you do, it is Burger O'Clock here at SA Live. And you go to this restaurant on the right day, it's burger time all day long. Antonio Chapa, who is the kitchen manager at Bar Louis, joins us right now with these amazing burgers and a mm-hmm. great deal. We're going to tell you about that in just a second. Welcome, sir. Hi, yeah, welcome, thank you for having welcome. me on, guys. Ooh, the smell. Oh, yes. yes. Oh, I smell it all day. I love it. I can never <laughs> get it over it. And this burger patty is? And so it's going to be our custom brisket blend. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of chuck, a little bit of brisket uh, press fresh every day every morning by mm-hmm. me and my cooks um, so we do a very good job about that and then when you hit it I know you already did you're gonna hit it with this beautiful burger seasoning right here more? yeah just more, more the flavor more? just put a little bit on there okay oh there you go yeah you never have too much uh-huh. okay right. then some of the toppings while this finishes up cooking what am I doing how do we dress yeah the absolutely so on that bottom bun this right here is gonna be our garlic aioli. go ahead okay. and get a nice heaping it on on there okay and spread that oh yes just okay. like that and then you're gonna have that garlic, herb, and cheese. That's gonna go on the top bun. Ooh, so instead of like a slab of cheddar or something like that, that's the, the Yeah, you're gonna get that it, creamy so. herb cheese, gives it that nice bite, keeps it nice. Is that like a cream cheese base? Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, there's gonna right. be cream cheese base. It's got the roasted garlic blended up in it, some Parmesan. Mm-hmm. And then, so what I like to do next is mm-hmm. I get just a little bit of the juice from the jam so and I spread it along the, the bottom. Jam. Yeah, just to get enough so you get jam on both sides, top and bottom. You want a full bite, it's that's my jam. So that's how I like <laughs> the jam. My yeah. Jam. And, and yeah. what's all in that? Uh, so in the, and then it's going to be two kinds of cherries. You're going to have amaretta and maraschino Ooh, cherries. Ooh, and you're going to so have good. fresh cut strawberries, brown sugar, sugar. And then you're going to get some Jim Bean liqueur. And you're going to fire it up, get it till it sizzles. And then it makes this beautiful jam once you put it in the fridge. There's and you nothing I don't that. like about what he just and said. Can say, and you can drink that in a shot glass. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> All the booze you know, got to pour a little extra though, first, so. All right. Okay, what's my next step? Or what's okay. next and step? so once you do that, you're going to go ahead and grab that arugula mm-hmm. and put it on that bottom bun for that burger to sit on it. Keep it all together nice and pretty. Okay. okay. And then as soon as he's ready, he's mm-hmm. gonna go ahead and lay that burger on there. Teamwork is the dream work. Okay. And then this is my favorite part. You're gonna get a heaping spoonful of that bourbon jam. Just place it right on top. <laughs> All right, heaping spoonful. Spoonful, ooh, baby, right, right there. Right on top. Mm, just like that. Yes. There we go. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do a little more. Oh, yeah, it's wine. Too much. Yeah, it's Wednesday, why mm-hmm. not? So. Yeah. Yes, okay. And then we close it up? Yeah, just go ahead okay. and close it up. And then when we present it in our restaurant, we go ahead and just get the pickles, we pick it. Yep. And there it is. That's my jam go. burger, Perfect. my favorite. Perfect. All right. Uh, do we have a knife? Oh, I Ooh. told you we'd forget. I know, I know. We okay. talked about this earlier, and I said, I know we're going to forget the knife. While we're waiting for a knife, <laughs> martinis are Absolutely. now on the menu, and every month a different one, right? Yes, we're going to have a different martini every month on special. And so uh, every Monday is also Martini Monday. We got $5 martinis, if not every weekday from 4 to 7. They are going to be. Yeah. <laughs> so it's going to be the new spot to drink. So this is definitely my favorite. It's going to be our Grand Lemon Drop. Um, definitely got a nice sweet flavor to it. Uh, and so we got everything going over here. I will go ahead and make it right here for y'all. So okay. it's going to be Deep Eddy Lemon, ounce and a half. Okay. You're going to have half an ounce of the Grand Marnier. You have your pure cane syrup. And then you're going to have the lemon juice. And, you're and gonna this go is ahead. shaken. Oh, yes, it's going to be shaken. Bird. Okay. <laughs> Put some ice on it. <laughs> How is it? That's Delicious, yeah. right. That's some good stuff. Oh, oh yeah. Gosh. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. There is no. There's no easy way to I know, I know. I'm going to try and cut this one. Just go for it. 
Okay. So how many different burgers you got on the menu? Uh, so we're gonna have six different burgers. So we're gonna have this one is mm -hmm. our featured one, and then we're also gonna have the gastro burger that is very popular. It's like a steak of a Philly cheesesteak on top of a burger. We're gonna have our Impossible burger, our All Nighter burger, and then we're also gonna have our bourbon barbecue burger. So we got lots to choose from. All these on Tuesday are gonna be half price all day. So don't forget about that. Okay, and what's what's coming up at Bar Louie? Uh, so what's coming up, um, we got a lot of events. So actually next Sunday is gonna be our service industry night. Okay. So anybody who's in the service industry, do come in. We have lots of specials. We're headlining like $3 shots, half price burger, half price chicken sandwiches. Uh, so anybody that's looking in to come to that, that as well. Dog friendly people, uh, our patio is dog friendly. We have bowls available for them. I bring them out puppuccinos, little puppy sliders. Oh, so yeah, it. we take care of everybody. Dogs might argue they love us even more than people do. And of course there are DJs, and you host private parties? Oh, yes. So, yeah, we do our private party. We got a private mezzanine. We do parties from 1 to 100, however big you want to go. We like to party with y'all. We got three different DJs. We got DJ Dove, DJ uh, Gorilla, and then we also have uh, D DJ Cruz. And again, half price burgers mm -hmm. when? It's going to be Tuesday, all Tuesday. day, from 11 a.m. to 2 a.m. So, any burger. Any burger. And happy hours Monday to Friday, yes. 4 to 7, right? Yes, ma'am. And soon, is there going to be a reverse happy hour? Yes, we are planning on rolling that hopefully very soon. It will be from, I believe, 9 to 11 p.m. So it'll be pretty much the same deal as we do during the day, but it's going to be at night so you can get that late night hankering. All right. Thank you so much, Antonio. Absolutely. Don't forget, every Tuesday is Half Price Burger Day at Bar Louie and happy hours from 4 to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday. For more information, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. You know, in the morning meeting, I mm -hmm. knew there was going to be a burger here, and that was well worth the wait because that <laughs> really hit the spot. So. All right, switching gears. Hell yeah, hell yeah, my lady, dost thou know of the Renaissance Festival this week in Kerrville? I feel like you needed subtitles. Okay, <laughs> thou does know, and one of the entertainers on the lineup is Last Chance Forever Bird Rescue, and today they share more on the ancient art of falconry with our Gen Tobias Stresky ahead of this weekend's activities. <laughs> Last Chance Forever has been around for decades. They are rescuing and rehabilitating wild birds in the San Antonio area. This weekend, you can catch them and some of their birds at the Renaissance Festival in Kerrville. Today, we get to learn all about what a falconer is and how that goes back thousands of years. Okay, I'm now joined by John, who is a falconer, right? That's, that's correct. Can you tell our viewers what this is all about? Falconry is a 4,000 year old art, but it is the art of inserting yourself in the wild bird's life so that you become a partner. It's not possessing the bird. It's, if anything, the bird possesses you because you work for the bird in a way that you become a partner and the bird is more successful. It started, you know, just out of people wanting to survive and not um, uh, have to eat the things they were eating by just using stones and sticks. So they figured out that they could use a bird of prey, hawk or a falcon or something, and they could easily get that bird to capture what it naturally captures, say a rabbit, but let them insert themselves in that that animal's behavior so that they could share the rabbit also. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a perfect scenario of nature and humans working together. This month, you can meet John and his team at the Kerrville Renaissance Festival. Today, I got to meet a few of his feathery friends. Wow, who do we have here? Well, you mentioned a falcon earlier, and this is a falcon. Um, the falcon is one of the fastest flying birds of prey in the world. They can dive out of the sky at over 240 miles an hour. They are designed in nature to capture birds. So they've got very long pointed wings, as you can see right here. And they're designed for speed. Now she has a hood on her head, which is a piece of falconry equipment. Mm -hmm. This hood, the design for it has been over a thousand years ago designed. Mm -hmm. And it's designed to keep them calm and quiet during the time that you're carrying them to the field. And I'll, I'll show you how, what she looks like without it. Beautiful. Oh she is a very beautiful bird. Oh wow. She's gorgeous. big, dark marbled eyes, short beak, and she's well designed, as I said, for capturing birds. <laughs> Again, you're all about educating as well. Right, we don't we don't generally name the birds because we want people to know exactly what kind of bird they are. <clears throat> Who do we have here? This is a Now you remember I talked earlier about there's a difference between falcons and hawks. If you look at this bird, his wing is long, but look how wide the wing is. The wing is wide because he's a hawk species and not a falcon. Nature put together these birds so that they could do their job properly. 
a bird like this, which has a very broad chest, has a very wide wing, flies short distances, but very quickly. Well designed for catching a rabbit. Whereas the falcon had very long wings designed to go extremely high and dive down at great speed, but they don't have the ability to catch a rabbit very I often. I see. So this is a hawk. His beak is much longer. And look at the color right here down the side. It's a ruddy red color like a bay horse, and thus the reason they're called bay-winged hawks. Now this bird is found in South Texas. Really? Found on the Texas desert all the way from South Texas to California, but the only place in that little band is where you're gonna find these birds. You can get up close with these two birds that you saw today, along with eagles and owls at the Kerrville Renaissance Festival. Uh, we'll give them an opportunity to see a bald eagle up close, perhaps even a golden eagle. And we're going to be sharing with them this ancient art, but crossing it over on how it is applicable today to save birds of prey. I'd just like to say thank you to everyone and invite everyone to be involved in supporting Last Chance Forever. You know that 5% of all of the entire giving of, to animals Animals, only 5% goes to wildlife. And it's really kind of sad because wildlife is so important to the world that we live in. Every day, we just don't think about it much, but please support work like this. For more on Last Chance Forever Bird Rescue, you can head over to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or scan the QR code on your screen. Don't forget the Renaissance Festival is this weekend in Kerrville, and you can get up close with some of their gorgeous birds there. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. I knew they had been around in, because I think mm -hmm. didn't the Egyptians have those, but I thought they were just kind of for show. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize they actually hunted for, for people. For them, yeah. right. That's interesting. I would think that they would serve that purpose, right? Yeah, and it still mm -hmm. boggles the mind when you think a falcon can dive down at 240 miles per hour, like he said. See, so. he knows, he knows yeah. facts like that. Love it. Hey, the uh, <laughs> Kerrville Renaissance Festival again is happening the next three weekends, up in Kerrville, of course, from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And for ticket information, just head to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link. So ahead on SA Live, there's a lot of makeup hacks on TikTok and Instagram, but which ones actually work? We are going to show you a few you can use and some you should just brush off. Well, let the good times roll. We're going to tell you how you can celebrate Mardi Gras here at SeaWorld. and you can celebrate Mardi Gras right here at SeaWorld. And here to help get the party started is Chef Scott. And you guys are celebrating Fat Tuesday for six straight weeks, right? We are celebrating every Saturday and Sunday <laughs> okay. until February 26th. And folks can dine like kings and queens on French Quarter Cuisine, right? They can dine on the French Quarter Cuisine. Okay, walk us through the yum yum. Okay. I mean, really. So we're walking through the yum yum here. We've got what would look like to some as an egg roll, but they're like, hmm, that's not an egg roll. But it's got a friend over here, our boudin wall. So we could take an egg roll, boudin, pepper jack cheese, roll it up, put it in some breadcrumbs, make it nice and crunchy on the outside, served with more rice, a little bit of dirty rice, mm -mm -mm. Creole mustard aioli on there. Everything's made from scratch. That's what's cool about this. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It don't taste like an egg roll. It don't taste like a boudin ball. So it's like they just collided and then they made that right there. So that's new. That came out of my head this year. So that's a brand new one. Uh, returning fan favorite is our shrimp and andouille skewer. It, 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 it's just wonderful. We griddle them to order. So everything here is made from scratch. So when you come in, it's not like it's just sitting up on there and it's just sitting under a heat lamp. We've got a roast beef and debris. Oh boy, the debris is the gravy. So you, those little leftovers that are on the backside as you're, as you're cooking that, that roast beef, that's what makes the gravy. So we put it up on there. French style bread. We've got the fried green tomato and avocado aioli with red and green cabbage. Let's talk about the New Orleans friend right here, which is our beignet. Ever so popular, we have our shrimp, fried shrimp, oh boy, and it's got a Cajun remoulade on there. You know, we got a little something to show you here, just a small little sample from our cocktails, our Pontchartrain signature drink, to our hurricane. Again, everything is fried to order. It is made to order, prepared to order. So when you come through, if there's a line, it's, you're gonna get good food at the end. So just, just, just be patient with us. If you happen to see a little bit of a line, don't get scared because you're gonna wind up with something that you're gonna be very, very happy about. That's just a little bit of what we got going on. Woohoo! 
just a little bit of what you got going on. Plenty of entertainment. The Sesame Street Parade is back as well. It is Mardi back. Gras, Sesame it, Street it Parade. is back. We've got a new area for the guests to enjoy our new bands that's out, that's out here this year. We've got a lot going on. So it's included with your admission. So come on out, enjoy some Creole food, enjoy some music, enjoy some fun, a little bit of everything for everyone. Huh? And if <laughs> folks want to go ahead and get some you know, festive attire too, they can do that. You can come in in your festive attire. We will be having beads that we'll be passing around to the little ones, to the big ones, to anybody who comes in here. Everybody's welcome. It's just, it's, it's a party on the street and it's what we do. So come on down and let the good times roll right here at SeaWorld all the way through February 26th on weekends. And remember, it is included with your admission. For more information, just head to SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. <laughs> Not an egg roll, not a boudin ball. Mm -hmm. How was it? It was so good. <laughs> and that's just one of the things that's new this year. And Chef Scott, I mean, he comes up with all these recipes on his own and he just likes to keep it simple, make sure all the ingredients go together and everything he makes is incredibly del delicious. And again, it is all made from scratch. When you order it, that's when they make it. Shrimp and andouille skewer. Mm -hmm. oh, that yes. looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, still ahead on the show. From art to clothes, body products to food, the big local event where you can find one of a kind items with a global flair. And next, we're myth busting makeup hacks. Which ones work, which ones don't? That's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's not only cat videos that go viral, even creative ways to use makeup can take over the internet. But the question is, do they work? <laughs> yes, Nadia Gonzalez, owner of Nerdy A Cat Makeup, is here to show us a few online makeup hacks, which ones work and which ones you should just brush off. And brush with her beautiful off. model, like me, just me, Janelle. <laughs> okay, so you teach makeup classes and yes. You got a lot of questions about this, whether they work or not, and we've got a few videos here. Yes, TikTok is a great place to find tips, but sometimes there's a lot of wrong ways to do makeup. So we're gonna talk about some big tips that I get asked all the time and why they're wrong and what to do to make them right. Okay, right. so the first trick we saw comes from TikTok user Haj Rasad, and she uses red lipstick under her eyes. Yeah. All right. Yes, so the reason why she's using red is because she's trying to color correct, but we really want to use a peach tone or an orange. Now, the reason why it's incorrect is because red lipstick is not usually used for the eyes and sometimes it can be dangerous. So what you want to do is put an orange color corrector in that motion and then it use a small brush to blend that out. So she's trying to color correct these dark circles that she that she has. Janelle doesn't really have dark circles, but this is what the red lipstick, that's why she's doing that. One of us <laughs> need to step in for the dark circles. <laughs> That'd be One me. Us, yes. um, okay. and, and, and you said dangerous to the eyes. Yeah. What can lipstick do to the eyes? Well, sometimes lip formula has things that aren't supposed to be used for the eyes. Okay. So that's the, the problem why, like, sometimes there's eye formulas that aren't supposed to be used on the lips. So it's supposed to be specific for the part that you're using and also lipstick is not that great for under the eyes because it's not the right formula for mm -hmm. that. And besides that, I mean, the color red may not work on every skin tone, even if you're using a color corrector, right? There are different shades to use on different skin tones. Exactly, because with color correcting, you wanna use the shade and the tone that goes specific to your shade and your tone. So I'm just putting foundation on top and I'm blending that. Now you don't wanna swipe the color corrector because it'll go away. Mm -hmm. You wanna tap the foundation and concealer on top. All right, speaking of foundation, the second uh, comes from TikTok user Meredith Duxbury, and she uses her fingers to apply heavy foundation. It, I mean, that's a lot going on there. That's way too much. You don't need nearly that much foundation, maybe like a fourth of that. The trick is to do it in spots where you need it and very little on the spots that you don't. That's how it makes it look more natural and you use this tapping motion, this tapping technique, not with your fingers because your fingers can be dirty, you can cause breakouts. Um, it's just not gonna work as well and foundation is really expensive. So you don't wanna waste it by using your fingers. You right. use yeah, because if you're using your fingers, they're absorbing into your fingers and you know, yeah. you are, you're wasting it. And she it. was using a liquid foundation, mm -hmm. yes. which you like something that can be applied with a brush, a powder like that, Yes, right? and brushes are inexpensive. You can get one from e.l.f. that has this dome shape, which is the one that I like to use. And like I said, a tapping motion is gonna work best. You're gonna get like that flawless airbrush look. 
versus with your fingers, it's going to be streaky. It's not mm -hmm. going to come out the right hey, way. Hey. And yeah. that looks almost like a mask that she had on because she had so much foundation. Yeah, she had way too much on. That was like a, what we call the makeup mask, and that's okay. what we try to avoid. So in the classes, we talk about ways not to do that. So you don't look like you're wearing a mask. You look like you're more like an enhanced version of yourself. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. All right. So our third comes from TikTok user Rick Arxism. Okay. She overlines her lips to create a fuller look. Right now, I feel like this can go wrong so many ways. Um, yes. So this looks good on camera. This is a trick that you can use in theater even, mm -hmm. but in person, you can tell that it's overlined. You can tell that your lip doesn't extend that far. Now you can overline it slightly and do that on the top and the bottom with a darker liner and then use a clear gloss or a tinted gloss to make it look fuller. You can do that. That's the technique that she's really trying to do. Mm -hmm. But when you overline it that much in person, it's very, very obvious that it's overlined too much. Somebody will immediately kind of go. <laughs> yeah, you'll have that kind of reaction and you don't want that. Yeah. You know, makeup's not supposed to cover things up. It's supposed to enhance. Okay. And the trick is mm -hmm. to find out what's best for yourself do take a class, right? Yes, the number one thing I say is that find out your skin tone type and texture and the best way to find that out is by taking a class and having a professional who's been doing this a really long time really help you find that because that's the best way to learn. And of course you do classes. And yes. I do classes. Yes. I do low price monthly membership classes. So we learn all different types of looks. I teach you all different types with the month, depending on the holiday. And we go through all of this in our classes. Okay, and she does uh, makeup for weddings, for glamour shots, and she has done all of our Halloween makeup as well over the past <laughs> couple of years. So thank you both very much, appreciate okay. it. And for more information on Nerdy Cat makeup, of course, you can go to assaylive.com, click on the Assay on Assay Live tab, and just scan that QR code right there at the bottom of the screen. All right, still ahead on SA Live, it's an event that could have changed world history. We find out more about a secret World War II plot and how you can learn the whole story. And next, you might be surprised to find these products in the Alamo City. We get a preview of a local market where you can get your hands on some one-of-a-kind products. Don't go anywhere. Well, do you have some gently read books that you're looking to pass on? We know exactly where you can take them and benefit our military members while you're at it. Gun Auto's Operation Book Drop is benefiting Soldiers Angels. Drop off your new and gently read books now through January 21st at Gun Auto locations. For more information, visit the website gungives.com or give them a call at 210-599-5000. They're looking to raise at least 5,000 books, so help our troops and drop off your books and novels today. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Dream Week in San Antonio continues with an event all about food, art, music, and shopping. You are going to love this. Femi Ongole and the founder and director of the African Market and Uche Ogba. Yes. Is that correct? Thank you. A, this year's host joins us to talk about this upcoming event. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank okay, you. Okay, tell us a little bit about the market. So the African Market is a one-day celebration of African arts and culture. Every year we host this in a company with Dream Week. Mm -hmm. So people can come to our festival. They can look at different vendors that are selling African-centered goods and services. There's going to be an exhibition of contemporary African photography. Also a fashion show, which is always the highlight of the event. Mm -hmm. So all things Africa, you can come and find. And your things genuine right from Nigeria in this case, or uh, people using the techniques that they've learned from there, Yes, right? Nigeria, Morocco, South Africa. We have artists all over the continent and the diaspora as well. Okay. So we try to accompany as many people as we can. Okay, my favorite topic, let's get to the food here. What do we have? And this is some of the, just sampling what's gonna be served, right? Yes, this food is provided by our food vendor, Lagos Buka Bar and Grill, and they have provided a plate of jollof rice with plantains and chicken. Also, there is pounded jam or fufu with agusi soup and goat meat. Okay, and the whole trick is you eat this with your hands and then dip it in there yes and you said dip your hands in water first yes clean your hands off okay and then grab a bite just, just take a hunk of this yep small piece a small as piece as much as you can manage not like that yep is that good and then, then you dip it into the soup dip it in right take right as much as, as you can put it in like try that. not to chew the the pound of yam if you can if you can swallow so is the trick swallow the whole mm -hmm. yep watch out just 
It's just the texture sometimes may not necessarily be appeal to everyone. Oh, okay. So sometimes people just maybe chew on the soup and swallow the powder yam on its own. Oh, that soup's got a kick to it. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, that's a surprise. <laughs> okay, and then this is ser also served with the uh, goat meat, and this is obviously, like I said, it's a traditional way to eat it. Yeah, yep. such mm -hmm. as this. If you're more comfortable with a fork, people also do that, but you're doing a good job. You're doing an amazing <laughs> job. <laughs> Lick your fingers up. It tastes better. It tastes better when you when you eat their hands. Okay, I'm gonna try the chicken. Yes. And what is this now? This is something yes, that so. is uh, the some of the you said the the techniques and everything. This house had been brought over from Africa with this, right? Yes, so moving on to another one of our vendors that's gonna be at the African Market Festival. This is Chalk Therapy, and they are a wellness brand promoting personal wellness, mm -hmm. all types of wellness. So you have body scrubs, you have candles, you have sage to cleanse your space. And her link to African arts and culture is that these are practices that we've been actually doing for a very long time as well. So these are things that have carried on through the years. And this is, like you said, so you can have your little Zen moment, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. The fabrics as well. And a couple different things. Uh, first of all, the, the larger one, which weighs a ton, by the way, uh, with all the beading on there and everything. And that is, what's that all represent? Because those are ties incorporated in there, right? Correct. So this is one of the artists that we've been working with named Tunde Odunlade. And he creates beaded batik textiles. So this work in particular is getting at the idea of unity. He's put together fabric and created different ties all the way down. And each tie has a different fabric representing a different type of background, cultural history, diversity, and then they all come together as one. But how many different vendors are going to be there? I believe we're going to have about, what, 20 or 30? Okay. We're still also accepting vendor applications, so okay. you can submit an application if you want to participate mm -hmm. and you have African-centered goods and services. Feel free to reach out to us and submit your application soon. If you would like to apply or to get tickets, the uh, Course African Market is coming up this Saturday, January 21st, 5 to 10 p.m. at the Brick at Blue Star Arts Complex. And for a link and tickets, and again, if you're a vendor, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Nice meeting thank you. Appreciate you. It. Thank Likewise, you. Likewise, thank you. Hey, next on SA Live, world leaders, secret plots, and the fate of the free world at risk. Sounds like the plot of a great movie? No, this actually happened, where you can learn about this little known story pulled directly from the pages of history. We get a sneak peek and hear all about it. You don't want to miss this. Well, World War II has been studied for decades, basically since the very day the war ended, and secrets are still being uncovered, including one that could have completely changed the course of history. Author Brad Meltzer joins us to talk about his new book that reveals a little-known covert plot. First of all, welcome, sir. Thank you for joining us. Is across town, ducked down and hiding in the back of a beat-up sedan, racing through the side streets because they're worried that there's a Nazi assassin who's about to murder him. And I just ruined chapter one of the Nazi conspiracy, <laughs> but that's how the book opens. Okay, how did you uncover these plots? How'd you get all this information? Yeah, you know, um, we did a book called The First Conspiracy about the secret plot to kill George Washington. Then we did The Lincoln Conspiracy about the plot to kill Abraham Lincoln at the start of his presidency the first time. And, you know, we had the National Archives to do research and we had the New York Historical Society. Here we had to have researchers who read German and who read Russian. We had to go through Joseph Goebbels used to keep the head of propaganda for the Nazis. Uh, the top secret information was on brown sheets that were literally called that because they were printed on brown sheets of paper and you know you had to destroy it after you read it it was like the mission impossible briefcase but for the nazis and joseph goebbels used to keep extensive diaries and very stupidly would write down everything that he would read in the brown sheets in his diaries and we were able to see things like you know we couldn't tell what when they figured out that the big three were going to meet but you better believe they figure it out. They find it out. They had cracked our international cables. They knew what Winston Churchill and FDR were saying to each other. And now they had some Nazis on the ground in Tehran. And the Nazis had the greatest thing of all anyone has in a fight, which is an opportunity. And it's an incredible true story. So uh, other than that great surprise, I never knew that about FDR hiding like that. What other surprises? And, and there's also some interesting characters in that too. 
Yeah, my one of the most amazing stories is about a Nazi named Otto Skorzeny, someone I'd never heard of. And Adolf Hitler pages Skorzeny to his wolf slayer, to Hitler's private headquarters. He brings together all of his special operations fighters, Hitler does, because he wants to see who the best one is. And he lines them all up and asks them one question. What do you think? And they all give their answer, saying Italy's on their side, and they, you know, fight with them, of course. But out of scores, any blurts above everybody else. I am from Austria, my Führer. And it's a gamble by Scorzeni because he knows, of course, that Adolf Hitler is from Austria. And if you're from Austria, you resent Italy because in World War I, Italy took a key piece of Austria and never returned it. And in that moment, Adolf Hitler turns and he realizes in Otto Scorzeni that he's got his guy. And he takes Otto Scorzeni and he puts him in charge of the wildest secret mission. I don't want to ruin this part of the book, but the wildest secret, top secret mission you'll ever see. Uh, it is so wild that Josh Mensch, my co-writer, and I asked the editor of the book, can we put a photograph from that moment in the book? Because when people read it, they won't believe it unless they see it. It's the wildest Nazi rescue mission you've ever seen and that you've never heard of in your life. You have piqued my interest even more. This is on the top of my reading list right now. Brad, thank you very much. If you would like more information, sounds like a fascinating book and, and World War II and everything about it is so fascinating. Go to essaylive.com, click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab for a link. You can find it hardcover and on all the readers and everything. Brad, thank you very much. Nice chatting with you. Next on SA Live, start the new year with a new you. How a local doctor can help transform your life by giving you the smile you have always wanted. Stay with us. They're giving people a reason to smile, even if they were told they could never have a pearly bright smile again. And here with us today is Dr. Alfonso Menares with Stone Ridge Dental. All right, for those that don't know, what is the all on four procedure and what sets it apart? Well, the all on four is it's a permanent solution for those patients that have no teeth or they need to replace all of their teeth. You know, and there's a lot of patients that need this. Millions and millions of patients, young, old, you know, female, males. I mean, for different reasons, decay, gum disease, trauma, you name it, right? And there's a lot of people that you know lose their teeth and this gives them a chance to have teeth that feel function and look like natural teeth again without the problems they had before and so when a patient comes in and wants to achieve that dream smile how do you help them move forward in the process well you know we listen to them first we, we try to find a solution for the problem we need to know what's important for them and it's you know replacing teeth with the all in four is like having a blank canvas I tell them I'm the architect of your new smile you know if I was building your house how many, how many rooms do you want? You know, where do you want the bathroom? So it, it's a chance to, to choose everything again and give them that, that perfection because we can, right? We can choose everything and, and give them that smile that will last forever and look amazing. Because this is for folks that maybe have been told, hey, I'm going to need to wear dentures for the rest of my life. And they might be also thinking, how do you qualify for all on four? Yeah, you know, a lot of people think, well, that's not for me, right? Because they heard before, I don't have enough bone or things like that. You know, the beautiful thing about the Olum 4 is that we use different angles and different different techniques that I mean I still haven't come across one person that 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 I can really treat because of their condition I mean if they're healthy enough to go to the dental office even if they have hurt you don't have enough bone or or you know you're not a candidate I invite them to come over and and chat with us and uh, uh, there's probably a solution for the problem and we have some examples right now some before and afters of that's that right. exact thing right that's right these are great stories you know the first one is a gentleman that was referred by a friend he had his teeth that were very loose and that he couldn't eat so we took the teeth out we replaced them with dental implants and he looks amazing he can eat a smile and he's super happy now the next lady beautiful um, elegant sophisticated lady uh, she speaks in public all the time and she was self-conscious about her teeth she didn't want dentures because nobody wants dentures right so we replaced her teeth with dental implants and it's just fascinating to see her now she's happy and she glows in anywhere she goes last one is a, a young young man that came with just bad teeth you know young looking guy but he was very self-conscious he was shy he didn't want to look you know 
know, go out and things like that. Now he looks like a GQ magazine guy. <laughs> He's in, in entirely, you know, himself again. And it's so, so nice to see them, you know, change their lives. It's amazing. And that's exactly what you're doing, transforming mm -hmm. people's smiles and their lives. Dr. Menares, thank you so much. The thank first you. 10 people to call will get the Love Your Smile offer from Dr. Menares at Stone Ridge Dental. It's a free, complete smile consultation with a $350 value. The number to call is right there on your screen, 210-864-9622. And for more information, just visit ImplantSanAntonio.com. Tomorrow on SA Live, how you can celebrate game day with your favorite foods, but still stick to your New Year's health goals. We check out a local restaurant that's recreating game day eats in a healthier way. Plus, the Western Heritage Parade and Cattle Drive is just around the corner, and we get a performance from the Jefferson Lasso Rope and Dance team that's going to be participating in the official rodeo kickoff. You don't want to miss this talented team of performers established 90 years ago. All that and a whole lot more tomorrow, 1 p.m., right here on SA Live. Sausage is a burger. Uh, no, uh, no, okay, <laughs> we're arguing something completely different. Okay. We asked you earlier what should not go on a burger. Melissa says an egg. Hot sauce. Interesting. Oh. Brandon. Yeah. Okay, fish. Yeah, there you go. You're on my island. Not a fan of bacon and mushrooms on a burger. No mushrooms. Ketchup from Roger. Hmm. Oh, some people spaghetti don't like that. Spaghetti and sauce. Although I've seen burgers where the bun is made oh, out of look, spaghetti. Oh, look, look. So. Emily agrees with you. Pineapple. Pineapple. Yes. Thank you. Okay. And I, like I said, if you don't like it on your pizza, you're but not going to like it on your burger. But if it's an egg, it's got to be cooked hard. More